neighbor decided to be very productive today and cut his grass. And therefore, if you hear the lawnmower, I am sorry. I don't know how to make him turn it off, and I'm too lazy to wait until he's done. And also, you can probably hear the little birdies going chirp chirp. Can't turn them off either, so sorry. In her mind, impenetrable. 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 Hey guys, it's Jay, and today I'm here with my June TBR. I only have four books that I'm going to try to read this month because I think I kind of put myself in a little slumpity slump. With the 24 books that I read last month, I just don't want to read anything. And like every time I pick up a book, I'm just like, no, like, like I don't want to read this. We're going to see how it goes. And also my work starts this month, so not going to have as much time to read as I did last month where I had no social life and no friends because everybody's on vacation, but I'm totally fine with it, staying at home, doing nothing with my life except reading. It's totally cool. So without further ado, let us get started. The first book that I'm going to read this month, that I have to read this month, is part of Booktube Tours. Basically what Booktube Tours is, is a group which is run by Grace over at Lovingdom Books, so if you go on to check that out, I will leave her link and the group link down below. Oh, totally check it out, it's so much fun, I love it. But basically we get sent books from publishers or authors in exchange for our honest reviews, and it is Deception Island by Bryn Kelly. This book follows Raph Angelito, who is the father of a nine-year-old boy named Theo. One night, Theo gets stolen from his bed and Raph is blackmailed into kidnapping the U.S. Senator's daughter. Her name is Laura Highland, and that is the only way that he is going to get his son back safely. Little does Raph know that Laura has a body double and her name is Holly Ryan, and she is an ex-con, and she is currently sailing the seas. Raph ends up taking Holly instead of Laura. It's basically an action-packed romance, and they end up falling for each other. Because it's a romance, so you know, they're gonna fall for each other, there are gonna be some steamy, steamy scenes in this book, and I'm very excited for it. They decide that it is better for them to work together in order to get Theo back, and it's basically their journey, and I'm very excited about it. So yes, this will be my first book, and I'm going to have a full review up for it on June 9th, so stay tuned for that if you're interested on hearing my full thoughts once I'm done. The second book is also part of this booktube tour. Again, the links are down below if you guys want to check it out. And the book is Genesis Girl by Jennifer Bradsley. This is the first book in the blank slate. I'm not sure if it says trilogy or a series, it just says book one. This book follows 18-year-old Blanca, who has never been on the internet. She has spent her entire life sheltered. She spent her entire childhood at this school, and it basically protects people from the internet. So she's never been online in her life. She doesn't even know how to text. She has no technological footprint whatsoever, and this makes her very valuable. Upon graduation, the people from this school are sold to the highest bidder, and Blanca gets bought by this man named Cam McNeil, and he basically uses her for personal gain. Soon, the McNeils are kind of paranoid about her and how obedient and non-defiant she actually is. They realize that all these years locked away without the access of the internet has actually made her mind impenetrable. I said that correctly. Yes! English is hard sometimes. So by the time Blanca decides that she's going to start thinking for herself, She's basically trapped, and the only way to escape is to go online. I'm so excited to read this book. I've read the first chapter already, and it seems really cool so far, like the premise and everything, because, like, our whole lives are on the internet, guys. Like, right now, I'm making a video to go up on the internet, and she doesn't, she's never been on the internet. Like, what? How is that? How is that even possible? The book also came with, like, a whole bunch of swag, which was, like, super cool. Pencils. We got pencils, guys. So now I can go to school and write with my Genesis Girl pencils. And it also came with a bookmark, which I'm currently using to mark my book. Currently reading, hashtag, you know? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. came with a recipe for roasted white fish with cherry tomatoes, capers, and feta. It serves four people, and I'm actually contemplating making this because your girl loves her some fish and some feta cheese. I'm gonna get rid of the tomatoes, though, because what? I don't like tomatoes. But, like, it's really cool that, like, the author sent, like, a whole bunch of stuff. And also a little, another bookmark with the signature of the author, and the book's also signed, so that's really cool. I'm gonna have a full review up for this book as well on June 25th, so stay tuned for that review as well. Super exciting! Then the third book that I'm hoping to finish in the month of June. I didn't do it in May like I said I was going to, and then someone asked me to do a review of it, so I gotta read this now because 
you know, don't want to let my viewers down. <laughs> but it is To All the Boys I've Loved Before by Jenny Han. It follows a girl named Laura Jean, and she writes a whole bunch of letters to the boys she's had, like, crushes on. And basically all these letters get sent out by accident. And that's all I really know about it. I've heard that it's very cute and fluffy, but it also has like some deep topics in it, so I'm very excited about it. A lot of people love this book, so I'm hoping that I also love it. And I feel like I'm gonna need some fluffy, fluffy stuff this month to try to get me out of this slump thing that I got going on. So, this is my fluffy fluff book, and hopefully it works. Then the final book that I'm hoping to get to is If You Find Me by Emily Murdoch. I've had this on my shelf for so long and so many people say that this book is so good. It follows 15 year old Carrie and her younger sister Janessa and basically they've lived in this camper with their mentally ill mother for the past couple of years. They were abducted and when her mother disappears her father ends up finding them and they get enrolled into high school and it's basically their story of being put back into high school after being abducted for so many years. Although Janessa is able to cope very easily and transition into school and friendship and all that stuff that comes along with being a six-year-old, Carrie has to live with her past and the secrets that she's been hiding for the past 10 years. It just sounds really interesting. I've heard such great things about it. And you know your girl love her some thriller novels, so hopefully I can get to this. We're gonna see how it goes. Alright guys, so that was my June TBR. Hopefully I can get out of this slumpy slump. We'll see how it goes. Might not happen. Might happen. We'll see. I don't know. I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye.